the most eye-catching thing out of the acting, out of the writing, and the plot was the cinematography. Since Birdman, I've noticed that a lot of films tried to replicate the cinematography. The latest example is 1917, where it's all made to look like it was filmed in just one single take. Well, Birdman kind of started a new cinematography trend, and that is the whole one-shot trend or technique. The whole movie was made to look like it was shot in just a single take, when in real life, it was probably cut here and there, you know? I want to learn how to do that cinematography trick, to be honest with you. So, for instance, everywhere, like, no matter what scene, whatever the scene changes or whenever the scene does change, it's all made to look like there's no cutting, there's no jump cuts, there's no cutaways. It's all just one shot. Or so we think it's all just one shot. Watch behind the scenes. In fact, if you've got a local library, I highly recommend that you watch behind the scenes after. Really pay attention because Alejandro G. Nieto really practiced. Now this movie actually did win the Academy Award for Best Cinematography, which it absolutely deserved. Because since Birdman, a lot of cinemat directors of photography are trying to replicate that very technique. And 1917 was our most recent hit. It really was a big winner at the Academy Awards. I think it really did deserve the best picture. Well, I mean, yeah, I know there are scenes that are ridiculously hilarious, unnecessary, and all in all, I really love the movie from start to finish. It's one of my all-time favorite movies of all time, and I actually got this as a, as a gift from a family member. In fact, on the wish list that I got, on the gift wish list, I actually asked that it would have the uh, Academy Awards symbol on it, and yeah, I got it. So, yep, I like to proudly display it in my collection of all-time favorite movies. I keep it in a nice safe somewhere secret. So, that is Birdman. I'm actually surprised that I didn't review it right away. Well, I really love this movie, and I highly recommend it for anyone who works in the theater right now. So, if you've got time, check it out. Rent it from your local library. And tell me what you think about it. I, I'm curious to hear what other people think about Birdman. My aunt, she kind of thought, mm, it was a bit weird. My uncle sure liked it. I think people will enjoy this more when you understand Broadway theater or those who worked in the theater. So I always like to say this is a theater movie, a movie about us who worked in the live theater. So check it out. And um, you know what? I think it's about time that I said this in most of my videos from now on. Thank you so much for taking time to look at this video. Thank you for taking time to hear what I had to say about Birdman or the unexpected virtue of ignorance. And I'll see you next time.